Hello everyone and welcome to Binance Pool. My name is Jesse and today we're going to do another tutorial, this time focusing on how we can connect our machines to our brand new Ethereum pool. Now as you can see, once you reach pool.binance.com, you're greeted with this page right here. And on this page, we have tutorials for both SHA-256 as well as ETHash. In this case, we're going to be going and clicking here for the view tutorial for ETHash. Now I've already opened this up, so we're going to go right up to my tab here. Once you're on this page, please scroll down to this particular part here, which is number two, setting up miners using Claymore and Bminer. And in this case, we're going to do the tutorial based on Claymore, which is a very popular option. So as you can see down here, this is what we're going to copy into our bat file. And that's going to allow us to run the miner and direct our hash rate at Binance pool. So really important to note, however, that there are two main points here, the username as well as the worker name that a lot of people have a little bit of confusion with. Now, in this case, the username will actually be found right here. So rather than putting in a wallet, you're actually going to put in your mining sub account. So as we can see, we can go to account management and we can put in any number of these sub accounts that I've already created. Keep in mind that we can always go here and create a new one. And all we're going to be putting in in that file is actually this name right here. Simultaneously, we also have the option over here for workers and we can name it whatever we'd like. In this case, I've named it 1070 rig. And on the miner setup, you'll also see that I've named it 1070 rig. So now that we've done that and copied our, our bat file, we're going to go over to the miner itself. So this next part of the video is actually filmed directly on the Windows based miner. And if you haven't done so already, please visit ClaymoreDualMiner.com to download the latest version of Claymore. It can be found in the top left hand part of the screen. As you can see right there, there's a download now button and the password for unzipping this file is lowercase Claymore. You may need something like WinZip to be able to extract all the files. And in this case, I've extracted them to the desktop. Now, once we've opened this up, we're actually looking for something called clear underscore start. That's a Windows batch file, and we're going to right click and edit that file. And this is where we put in the command directly from the tutorial. So keep in mind, this is the part that most people are having trouble with. Instead of putting in some sort of wallet address, we're just putting in the name of our mining account. So as you can see, and as we saw before, my name is JDP Tester, as well as right over here, there's the 1070 rig, which is our worker. Then you can press save and exit. And I've just brought this to the desktop just to show you guys, but this is just double clicking clear underscore start. And we're starting up Claymore Miner right now. As you can see, it recognizes all six of my NVIDIA 1070 GPUs. And we are well on our way to submitting hash rate to Binance Pool once you can see that the stratum has connected and the DAG is being configured. And that's all. So now we're going to end off this tutorial exactly where we started, which is pool.binance.com. And this part of the tutorial will be looking at the statistics coming directly from Claymore Miner. So as you can see, we've logged into the same mining account here, JDP Tester, and we've selected from our algorithms ETHash. Now we can look at a variety of different statistics. We can look at our workers and finally our earnings. So that's what we're going to do by going to the left hand side here, as you can see, this is a snapshot of my hash rate every 15 minutes, and this is one every 24 hours. So naturally, this will not be the full around 170 mega hash, as I've not been running the, the miner for 24 hours straight. And keep in mind that this number can also be different than the Claymore console oftentimes, uh, because it's a snapshot that happens every 15 minutes. Uh, so it's important to wait a couple of minutes to see if that kind of evens out with your Claymore console. Now on the bottom here, we can get a little bit of information about our workers. So as you can see, I have one test rig active and finally our earnings. Now for workers, we can go here. As I said, I have one rig, but this is where they would all be populated here if you had more. And finally, let's go over into earnings. Now. As you can see, this is all of the Ethereum that I've been paid out by Binance Pool, uh, separated by day. Uh, you can also download an Excel file right here that will show you that information. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to email us. Thanks so much.